Hey, what's up everybody? This is Toasty Gamer Boutique. We're here playing Cookie Run Kingdom, and in this video, we're just going to be producing a lot of materials and goods. Here, we're starting off by making the roll cake wood. We're going to get a bunch of lumber going on. These ones refresh pretty quickly. I've done a little bit of research, so that makes my production times a little bit quicker than the originals. Here, we're just starting off with all those little ones there. The sugar cubes, the jelly beans, the wood. That's looking great. When it comes to the flour, my favorite one to do, and I think it's the most efficient, is the biscuit flour sack. Uh, the biscuit flour, you get three, and it takes eight minutes. Three times eight is 24. So here, this is 21 minutes instead of 24. So we save a little bit of time on that, so it's a little bit more efficient. So next up here, um, same thing with the jelly berries. Two for uh, 15 minutes, well, it's double the time here, 15, 33, and you get uh, an extra couple. So instead of four that we get in half an hour, you get six in 33 minutes. So that one's going to be more worth it there. And we're going to fill up those berries looking good. When it comes to the milk, we're going to go with the first one, just the regular milk there. That's going to be more efficient for right now. And uh, this is brand new. I just leveled up my cotton candy ranch. Uh, I've been looking at the math. It's like practically the same, whether you get one or two. So here, I've just been going with this since we can get them quicker. But this is going to be really nice if ever I'm like busy a certain day. Having this available is going to be a game changer. Ooh, another thing we want to do here is I want to make a bunch of the robust axes. Nice. Uh, smithy here, we're going to be blocked, but no worries. It's going to slow us down a little bit, not too much. And then when it comes to the jam, um, currently I'm able to make stacks of 30. So for example, here, we're going to get one more so we can make that a stack of 30. And then we're going to fill up the rest ones with the jelly bean jam. With the new feature, they added this button here and I love it. It's perfect for, for productions and it's really efficient. So here, we're just going to make a bunch of the pine cone birdie toys. Looking real good. We can make a bunch of the hearty rye as well. Very nice. And, hmm, here I'll make one of the burgers. And, ooh, nice, we've almost completed those stacks. Here, they're all at 30. And if ever you're wondering, how come my stacks are at 30? Well, when it comes to storage, uh, first thing, I've increased my storage. I increased it as much as I could without having to spend gems. Uh, and then here, we've got different types of stacks. So for the wood, for the sugar, for the jelly beans, those stacks are 95. And then for the other goods here, uh, we've got stacks of 30. So that all goes along with research that you can do in the Sugar Gnome Laboratory over here. So if you go to your kingdom, uh, somewhere in there, you can do faster goods production. Yeah, here, bigger storage for materials. Uh, that is the wood and jelly beans. Bigger storage for the goods. That's like, you know, the other stuff there. So definitely, I've been working on some research to get things going a little bit more efficiently. And, you know, it's hard because I also want to do research to make my cookies stronger. So I'm kind of always split between the two. So I kind of try to go, um, you know, back and forth between researching cookie stuff and researching stuff to make our kingdom more efficient. So here I'm going backwards this time. So we're going back around here. We want to get everything in production and uh, I've got to make a couple of these happy planters. I keep running out of sugar. So doing this production here today, it's going to take a little bit of time, but it is going to be worth it. So next up here, since I'm pretty much caught up, I'm going to make some extra planters. Perfect, looking real good there. And then back to the starting line. So here our wood is already done being produced. That's gonna be perfect right there. And I am going a little bit overboard in some categories and that's gonna be perfect for the uh, Seaside Market. Um, you know, there's a couple things that you unlock in the game. First, you're going to unlock the train station. You want to get all three of the train stations by leveling up your castle, level up that fountain of abundance. Uh, eventually, you're going to get the sugar gnome laboratory. If you don't have it already, definitely make your way to the area next to the balloon. That sugar gnome laboratory is going to help you so much. And then another thing you want to discover eventually is the tropical soda islands. And speaking of, hello, what do we have here? 
Ah, uh, yes, this is available. Hey, that took two days. So a great way to get experience star jellies and some coins. Here, uh, I don't have enough items to restore this. But actually, if we can restore that island, that is going to be perfection. Here, what did we do? Okay, that was world exploration. <laughs> That's kind of random there. But once we restore this soda island here, I'm going to go back to the kingdom real quick to show you what that's going to do. Back in the kingdom. So we've got uh, our achievements up here in the top left corner and soda islands. I think I'm really close to getting uh, some extra gems for that. Do, do, do. Where is it? Yeah, here we go. So right now I've got 10, uh, 8 out of 10. Okay, I'm at 8 out of 10 of the Soda Islands. So I need two more. So that'll put me at 9 out of 10. Okay, we're making progress. Hey, one island at a time. So that's looking fantastic here. Our wood is going to be ready. The saws are going to be ready as well. So I'm going to come back here. Go ahead, fill that up. Now, I talked about Tropical Soda Islands, the Sugar Gnome Laboratory, the train station. Those are things that you unlock. And then there's the Seaside Market over here. So keep discovering. It's just below the Tropical Islands. And here, you can fill up your cargo ship every day in exchange for some items. So it looks like yesterday I didn't fill it up 100%. But no worries there. I haven't had too much time to do production, but this is what we're working on here today. So, for example, things that aren't too shabby to send off is pinecone birdie toys. That just takes a little bit of wood and a little bit of patience to make there. Here, also, we're going to be making jelly beans and wood. So I'm going to send a bunch of jam. Here, we're going to send a bunch of jam. So we're going to kind of empty these out and then restock it. Here, I was working on those the robust axes. So there, that's chill once again. I don't necessarily want to send these uh, pickaxes here because those took sugar and I've been really struggling struggling with the sugar lately. So tropical soda islands are over here underneath the train station and then the seaside market is right down here. I think I forgot to make a video about that so I hopefully will be making a video eventually but just to let you know kind of where it's located and otherwise there's other videos on YouTube from other uh, content creators that you can check out that'll inform you on the seaside market. So here, we're just going to keep it going. Wood, lumber, uh, jelly beans, sugar, ooh, 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 things are looking very nice. Keeping, of course, the flour going. That one you don't have to refresh as often. So things are looking real good. Yep, next up we're going to have the axes. So when it comes to the axes, I'm going to probably go to like 60. We want two stacks of 30 there. Uh, here, interesting, interesting. So this is going to be for the jelly and we're going to refill what we've started there. So slowly but surely we're looking good. Pine cones, it's going to take a little bit more time, but that's going to be perfect to refresh there. Hardy rye, I don't think those are finished. No, those take a little bit more time. Here, hello, we've got some production going on over here. The Jam Pie Diner. This is something that uh spend a lot of time in and looks like we're almost caught up. This is actually a rare occasion here. So, what to do? Ooh, this is a tricky one. I don't know what I want to do here. And uh, next up after this, whoops. No, here, uh, the bakery. This one uh, definitely gets jammed up a lot. I've got the fluffy Castella there that I need to make the rings at the jewelry salon. So those are the ones I'm always running low on. Here, back to this. So we're keeping this going. Wood, smithy, uh, jelly bean, sugar. Those are the three that refresh the most often with the uh, progress that we've got going on right now. So here, we're just going to keep on cruising through it. I like to do this at least, uh, you know, I'd like to say once a day, but honestly, I've been really busy lately. So I've been trying to do this at least once a week. You know, just spend a good hour or so working on resources and having fun. So I haven't had too much time, but if you can do a little bit here and there, it does add up. And I noticed if you come in the morning, usually your productions are mostly done in the morning. So the morning is a good time to uh, set, a little, uh, set a little time aside to just, you know, stack up your productions. Oops. And I guess I don't really need that there. So we're going to cancel that. Uh, so let's see here. I'm working on these, the hammers, the indestructible glazed hammers. I need six more of them. So technically there, if we 
bring that. I mean, that's going to be perfect for me there. And we can fill it in the gap with the enchanted tongs. Okay, so that's got some nice balance to it there. I'm happy with that. Now, one thing that's going to come and take up these items is your Tree of Wishes. It's pretty difficult to get all three of these completed in a day. And for example, here, they're asking for items that I never want to give. So I end up refreshing a lot of the items a lot of the time. For example, here, we're refreshing all four. I'm not into that one right there. You know, having this active production time is good for the Tree of Wishes. Um, it's also good for your train. Sometimes it can be really challenging. Like I've had things on the train that I'm stuck for a decent amount of time. So having these uh, resources prepared ahead of time is a great way to prepare for um, probable or possible missions that may come your way. So here we've got that going on. Uh, I did make a video about storage for how I leveled up my storage, but long story short, like I mentioned uh, here, when it comes to storage, uh, all of the uh, upgrades that I've done, I went all the way until the one that cost gems. Here, I'm also seeing, uh, we're gonna keep this going. Oh, there's a couple things I forgot to uh, put into the museum. Here, we're going to go to the guild real quick. I don't know if those are taking up spaces. It said I was like at 85 out of 95, was it? Let's go check this out. So real quick here, we're going to hop into the museum. And for guild relics, we're going to go ahead and donate all of these here. Beautiful. And I don't know if those were actually taking up space here. We're going to donate all of this here. I've been saving these up to make a video, but I never have time to make the video. So anyways, we're going to donate this now to the guild. And I don't know if anything's making anything stronger, but we'll do our best to keep this going. Looking real nice there. And keep donating everything. Donate that right there. Oh, yeah, we just got a relic upgrade. Okay, so that one, hey, it was definitely good donating there. Gonna keep this going real quick. Looking good. Hey, shout out to the Alliance. I love this Alliance. Everybody's awesome. Looking real good. And we are crushing it. Here, another little level up there. Gonna keep going. This is looking real nice. Looking real nice there. No way, another level up here. Great Sage's staff. Uh, leveled up to level two there, looking real cool. So that's awesome. So now we just made some space there. And like, for example, if you're wondering what those do, well, here, the more items you level up, the higher your, uh, you know, gallery can be. So like here, gallery, um, every level you get a extra little upgrade. So for example, here we're at level four. If you get to level five, then you get even more coins from battle. And each of these have different, uh, different, uh, you know, perks that they give you. I made a video on that as well. The museum relics and stuff. So anyways, I'm just getting distracted here. I was looking to make room in my storage. I don't know if that actually changed anything because I think those have free storage. But we're doing a kingdom cleanup today and we're making space at spring cleaning. Oh, yeah. Oh, and I released a video on bingo as well. If ever you haven't finished your bingo, the bingo event ends in less than 48 hours. So get as many of those as you can. And I didn't know this, but you can actually, um, you can actually come back and play levels that you already played to get even more rewards. So that was a very uh, cool surprise that I found this morning. Yeah, baby. Here, let's keep this going. So we're getting some more resources here. Perfect time. We're going to get that wood stacked up again. Looking real good. Mm-hmm. So that's looking fantastic. A little bit of sugar, a little bit of jelly beans, a little bit of wood, the lumber there. Here. Uh, we're going, I want to get to 60 when it comes to those axes. So we're getting a little bit closer there. Another thing is the jam that should be moving. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There it is. Okay. So here are jams getting some movement and actually I'm going to switch this up. Let's start off with the easier ones. So here, there we go. We're going to fill up the blues. Yeah. Perfection. Very nice. Okay. So that's looking fantastic here. These uh, pine cone birdie toys are starting to get some production going on. That is just what we're looking for. Very nice. We can get those experienced star jellies. Keep this going. 
refill everything. Eventually, once I get to like uh, 2,000 something wood, then I switch into the roll cake wood bundle there. And then this is looking pretty good. Let's see what's going on in the arena. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Mm. I'm a little bit nervous. I don't know. I feel like maybe I might have some luck here. They do have a two star um, sea fairy. So I'm a little bit nervous. But their treasures, I feel like maybe we might have a chance against these opponents. Let's see how this goes. Come on. Big money, big money, big money. Let's go. Let's go. We want to get this victory. I think we might have it. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Come on. We got this. Woo. Yas queen. That's what I'm talking about. The beautiful victory right there. That's looking great. Eight trophies, 10 medals. I'm super happy. Ooh, yas queen. We crushed it there. So that's looking absolutely fantastic. And uh, I'm always scared when I see Hollyberry. Ooh, five-star Eclair, five-star Cotton. Okay, so for that, we're going to refresh it. There's no battles available at the moment, so we're going back to the kingdom, keeping this going. Very nice. Here, oh, we're doing fantastic on time. We're crushing it. We've just got this started. It's been about 16, 17 minutes. Here, we're going to keep this going. Yeah, very nice. Beautiful. So we're just going to keep refreshing all of these items over here. Very good. That's looking good there. Here we can go ahead and refresh the jelly berries. Keep that going. And then here we're going to refresh those axes. We're at 50 now. So we're almost done getting our two stacks of 30 for 60 in total. That's looking real good. So if we go back to our storage here, we're 81 out of 95. So getting rid of those, uh, that didn't change anything. Our stacks have changed a little bit because we spent some items. But uh, yeah, the relics don't take up any space there. Mm -mm -mm. Okay, so this is going pretty good. We've done a good cleanup so far. I want to go check out the Seaside Market once again. Here, oh, first Tooks Trade Harbor, then Seaside Market. Uh, so sometimes I save these. Ah, perfect, fabulous. So we're going to spend a little bit of sugar there, get those powders. Nice, that's what I'm talking about. And then here, is there anything I'm going to splurge on? Not on today. Okay, so here we're just going to get these items. Beautiful. Getting that there. Here, uh, I want to get as many items as I can. So this is really going to empty out some of our resources. It's an investment. You know, it's an investment. You got to see it like that. So not too shabby over here. I think that's about all I'm going to go for, though. Okay, chill. So there, that just made a little bit of space. What do we have going on here? So, like, for example, here, we've got 33. In organizational, it's going to be best to donate three and put that at 30. Eventually, I might start making a stack of, like, um, you know, two stacks of 30. So, I'll save 30 in total, but I don't have the storage for that yet. I'm a dreamer. <laughs> so, here, this is looking good. We're starting to get the cargo going. Um, I've really been depleted of materials lately. I've been like, you know, splurging hardcore for a bunch of different things. So definitely it's good time to start refreshing everything. Very nice. So there we have that going. Definitely going to have to replenish all of these resources here. Oh, there we've got some milk that's ready. We can go ahead, check that out. Very nice. Okay. And then here, this is actually almost done. We need five more. And now we're going to be working on our pickaxes. So when I'm actively doing this, I go from quickest to, you know, the one that takes the longest time. So we're going to do the pickaxes and then the saws and then so on. Uh, here, oh, can't forget about the jams as well. Very nice. So at the moment, we actually have 20 jams. Uh, that's going to put us over 
our 30 that we have. Uh, so we have six in this pile. Uh, how's this gonna go? Okay, so here we have six. We're gonna switch it up a little bit. We're gonna start making some of these reds. Interesting, interesting. So we don't need all of this here. That one's a little bit slower. This one's ready. Okay, so actually I'm gonna take that. So we have five there. Trickiness. Okay, wait, four and four. There, that's nice. Okay, so here we got that going on. I'm out of jelly beans, but we should have some more that are ready for us. Thank goodness there. And yeah, this can be a little tedious, but it really is gonna help you in the game. So if ever you've got like a spare, you know, 20 minutes or so, this is something I recommend to do if you don't know what to do in the game. Uh, I always try to have, you know, my resources in production, but it's not always easy, especially when you've got a busy schedule. So just do your best and, you know, most of all, have fun with it. Here, how did I count? 61? Okay, I only wanted 60. Um, you know, one thing if ever you have too many items is you can actually delete stuff. I don't recommend it, but I'll admit I've done it before. So like here, robust axe. I mean, there's not really much space for it. We could sell that by clicking on it. Sell there. I don't know if I want to. Let's see what we have at the tree of wishes. Come on down to the tree of wishes. Tree of wishes. Meh. I mean, nothing too good there. I don't want to get rid of those bouquet flowers. I don't want to get rid of those items. Three of the things, that's a lot. One of the fluffs, okay, one cotton candy, fine. I'll do one cotton candy, but not more than that. Flower, I'll do that. Okay, eh, I'll do that here. What else do we have? Three donuts, no way, Jose. Okay, so back to production. So there, we got a little bit of this and that. Here, we're getting back to the wood. Keeping that moving, keeping this moving, beautiful, and just keeping that going. Okay, so here we're good, we're good, we're good, we're good. Where's my smithy? There we are. So this we're going to refresh here. Beautiful, production is full, that's looking fierce. Uh, next up is going to be the jelly bean jam at the jammery. And here, yeah, looking very nice. So we're at 26. Here, we have four more in production, two at each. And next, we're going to be working on the sweet jelly jam, the red jams there. So everything's filling up nice and slowly here. And, uh, you know, slowly but surely, I've been working on these here, um, you know, trying to fill it up. I don't have the level four jam yet, but I have a feeling that might be something I might be going for soon. Eh, I'm not there yet. I'm kind of procrastinating. You know, I want to make sure I have a good steady balance of all the resources before I go splurging on other stuff. Like, for example, the fluffy Castella, that bread thing I was talking about earlier. That one has definitely slowed me down when it comes to the train. Sometimes I haven't had any and it asked me for that fluffy Castella and then I'm like, oh gosh, well, we have to wait at least four hours. And... And yeah, yeah, yeah. Anywho, that's going real good there. We're crushing it. And uh, what to do next here? Couple more items looking real nice. Keeping that going. And here we can get a couple more jams in the queue. Okay. Yep. Couldn't be more happy. This is progressing very nicely. You can always get more items at the uh, Fountain of Abundance. So we can go ahead and claim that right there. Rock on. Uh, what do we have at the Kingdom Pass? Oh, claim Fountain Rewards Suite. Okay. So slowly but surely working on stuff here. Um, at this point, I am feeling easily distracted. Is the Kingdom Arena? Yeah, we can go ahead and refresh that there. Perfect. Okay. This should be a battle... I mean, we should be able to get the victory here. You never know. But uh, 
they don't have that many level 60 cookies in their cookie team. They have strong treasures though, so, you know, sometimes I get surprised with these battles. Whew, okay, lucky us here. They're hanging on by a thread, but I think we've got this. Yeah, there we go. Crushing it. And Yas Queen, Patang for the win. So there we just managed to get that victory. That's looking absolutely amazing. Bunch of trophies, bunch of medals. Very nice. Here, what we're going to do is we're going to go back to production. Very nice. So, yeah, we're just doing our best to uh, keep this going, keep our production moving nice and smoothly, trying to get our stacks that we're looking for, or the appropriate quantities that we have uh, for our storage at the moment. Whether it's 20, I don't know what the multiples are, whether it's 20, 26, 28, you know, keep making those stacks. You've got this. Mm hmm. So slowly but surely, we're getting a taste of this production here. Oops, and that's not the one I want. So that, yeah, there we go. Switching that flower out, looking real nice. Awesome. We're crushing it. Yep. So that is what I'm talking about here. We're going to make 30 tempered pickaxes, 30 of the candy saw, and we're going to keep producing the sugar and jelly beans as much as we can because we definitely are using a lot of resources by creating a lot of these uh, items as well. So it, it can get a little difficult here, but we got this. And uh, yeah, I'm definitely not going to upgrade my jelly my jelly jam factory the jam factory until i know i have tons of jelly beans for the new item that we're gonna have to produce uh, very nice very nice and where are we here there okay so tempered pickaxes this is going very nice the jam uh, we're still running out of materials a little bit here and speaking of, we actually don't need jelly beans for this. Maybe I will upgrade my jammeries. If I get these all filled to 30, maybe I'll upgrade my jammery. You know, it's funny. I always tell people, focus on the quest on the right-hand side. And I got stuck. I didn't uh, upgrade my level 2 cotton candy ranch forever. And I finally did it. And now it's like unblocking stuff. So now my quest was to make the jewelry salon, which I did a couple weeks ago. And I have to... Uh, Co complete making a uh, three of the glazed rings so it's like i've made a bunch of the glazed rings so now i'm stuck there so i've got a little catching up to do myself here and i'm curious what do they want you to do after you build the jewelry salon uh you know once you get those three rings what's the next quest gonna be so that is really what's got my curiosity at the moment beautiful so here we're doing a nice little job and I know you might be feeling it, might be a little tired at this point, and that is normal. I'm sending so many positive energies out there to everybody. Keep it going. You've got this. Hey, so yeah, if you can do this, you know, a half hour a day, you're going to be crushing it in the materials and goods department. Definitely get everything going, you know, nice and smoothly, crushing it. Uh, not running out of items whenever you have the train or the uh, daily wishes, uh, you know, so doing your best to get that going here. We're doing a nice job, actually, with those jams. We are jamming here for the tree of wishes. We have two minutes left on that. I probably should have started the tree of wishes at the beginning, but hey, sometimes, you know, you, you forget about little things there. Um, Here, if we go back to the Tooks Trade Harbor, I mean, we've got the extra, yeah, I already gave them as many of those as we can. So I have 61 of the axes, but I can't give my extra there. Let's see, pine cones. I can only give two more of those, so that I'm going to go ahead and give those pine cones there. Other items, I like to keep those. Uh, some things I'm going to keep. Mm -mm -mm. Yeah, for now, I'm okay with that. So we're not going to give too many more items. We'll see how the wind blows. So I'm trying to be as resourceful as I can here. 
Don't want to give any of those, you know, high level valuable items that take hours to get. Um, let's see. There, getting this rotation once again. That stack, that stacked. Okay. Very nice. Everything's stacked. Okay, pine cones. So here we can go keep refreshing those pine cones. We're at 10 pine cones in total, doing very nice. Here we can go ahead and make some more of these hardy rye. And since we're filling up our hardy rye category, we're actually using more of those blue jams. So we're gonna have to restock that category as well. Interesting, interesting, okay. Um, yep, things are going good here. Uh, oh, we've got an item over here we want to fill in. Very interesting, very interesting. Okay, here we're going to refresh these. And, I mean, technically, we want to make some more of these pink flowers as well. Technically, I'd want six more of those. So here we can fill that up. Okay, okay. And if we fill up those, that took a couple of the planters there. So now that's taken pine cones and other items. Uh, here at the Artisan Workshop, yep, if we're not going for the colorful bowl, we're going to need those pomegranate jams that I'm not ready for yet. So in that case here, we're just making those items. Things are looking good. Things are looking pretty good here. Oh, what to do, what to do. So this is the part that gets a little tricky here. Do I leave them all at 30 or do I continue to make more stacks? I'm not ready for the pizza just yet. Eventually we'll have to make the pizza, but I'm not ready for it. Hmm. Well, we have a lot of items there. Okay. So what I'm going to do for that is right over here. I'm going to make some extra candy pastas. They take forever and that would be good to like kind of prepare a little bit in advance. So my candy pasta, I'm willing to make a two stacks of 30 for 60 in total. Rock on. Okay, we're crushing it here. We're going to get this going in production. Keep this going in production. Very nice. We've almost filled up the hearty rye. So that's looking fantastic. We're going to collect these items. Start back from the beginning. Ooh, 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 beautiful. So this is a pretty good rhythm of a production that we have going on. Not too shabby at all. There, that's looking real good. And cotton candy. We can go ahead and do another one. But you know, at this point, I'm really thinking it's just as efficient. Might as well put the doubles. I have a feeling it's going to be okay. Cool. So there, looking very nice. Mm, that one's almost done. Two seconds, one second. There we go. So we're going to keep filling up those tempered pickaxes. Where are we on the jam? Okay. So here, now we got a little bit of backtracking to do because I want to get three more of the jam. One, two, three. Perfect. Fill that up. And then back over here. One, two, three. And then fill that up. Ah, oh, beautiful, beautiful. Get some more pine cones going. Mm-hmm. We're crushing it. So this is going super good. I couldn't be more happy. Ah, here we've got another item over there. Gonna go ahead and collect that. So everything's in good production. Uh here we have enough of the pink flowers. So after that one, I'm gonna go back to the happy planners there. And you know what? Technically, I'm going to make some more of these. Okay, chill. Very cool. So, with the happy planners, I know it's not going to be an enormous amount of points, but the extra planters, um, I'm eventually going to give probably here. So, I'm going to try that out, give a couple already. Awesome. So, I'm just having fun. Nice, lazy Monday doing my thing, taking some rest, but still working on some stuff here. Very nice. 
Very nice. Okay. So here, jelly bean, sugar, those are like the two things that I'm going to have to stay focused on for the rest of the day. And it's just going to take a little bit of patience. I'm going to keep doing my thing, keep working on different stuff. Uh, tree of wishes. Let's go. Here, what do we have? Of course, it never asks you for the items. You're like, ooh, I want to get rid of that. So here, okay, we're going to go hardy rye. Fine. Eh, fine. I'll do those right there. Fine, I'll do that. Uh, don't want to do that. I don't want to do that. Uh, don't really want to do that either. Okay, so Trio Wishes is going slow today. Of course, they're not going to ask me for that extra, uh, what is it, the extra axe that I got in the beginning? Okay. Mm-mm-mm. So yeah, I mean, here I could probably get distracted a little bit more at this point. We've done a really good, uh, you know, job starting off the basis here, setting up the foundation. Things are looking great. Mm-hmm. So now we need a couple more of the blues, actually, because we just gave an extra four. Uh, I want five at each. Okay there and then we're just gonna fill that all right so slowly but surely i feel like i've got uh i've gone backwards but we did do a bunch of wishes uh we've done a lot of progress even though i feel like i have less items in some categories um the cleanup job has been amazing here mm Hmm. definitely we've been th thorough so that's looking good what, it was, what else do we have? That's looking real good there. Sometimes when I'm waiting for stuff, I go check out like springtime missions. What do I have here? So one thing, let's check out Kingdom Arenas. Maybe we could get another Kingdom Arena victory. Here, I mean, that team, I was a little nervous, but they're not that strong. Should be able to get the victory. Let's see how this goes. Come on, baby. Let's get this victory over here. I'm sending so many positive energies out there. Hope you're having a beautiful day. Hope you're having a beautiful week. And I hope things are going good. Keep it going. You got this. And I think we've got this for this victory here. Yeah, crushed it. Rock on. Cotton candy or cotton cookie is blocking those moves there. But I know we're going to be able to get it. There we go. Awesome. And we crushed it. <laughs> yeah, very nice. So we got that Kingdom Arena victory there. And the other ones, I'm a little bit less confident. Maybe this one, but like, check that out. Four Star Sea Fairy. I don't think I'm going to be able to win that. Okay. So then let's get back to work here. Back to the mill. We're going to see uh, some more production items. Keep this going. And... Uh, eventually, we're going to have caught up pretty nicely. There we go. So we have this over here. Keeping everything moving. Very good. And at this point, you kind of get the gist of things. Uh, we're just going to keep this rotating here. Eventually, we're going to have some nice stacks. Um... Here, okay, here we can go ahead, refresh that one right there. And we're at 21. I've got a queue of eight, so we're almost done putting those uh, tempered pick axes into the queue here. Good progress. And here we're making those blue jams, getting really good progress. We're going to be able to line up the red at the end of the queue. Marvelous, marvelous. Okay, here these pine cones are almost done. So we're going to want to fill up all of these in the long run. So starting off with the pine cones. I mean, pine cones, I have a feeling I want to stack up like 60 of them. Because once I start going, I can go through those pine cones pretty quickly. Mm, okay, not too shabby. Yeah, we're making good progress, you know, slowly but surely. Ah, uh, here we can go fill in that latte. Nice. And I think things are full. Back to the wood. Here, we're going to grab that lumber, 
fill that in. You know, we're starting to look pretty strong. Keep this going. And, yep, okay, patience time. So, I mean, this is looking pretty good here. We're just going to be patient, keep it going as much as we can. Ooh, and this one's exciting, actually. So, Tempered Pickaxe, once this is done, then we're going to add the saw next up. So, things are looking real nice here. And three, two, one. That is the last of the tempered pickaxes that we have to make for now. Let's see. Uh, we've got these. Okay, so now you're getting the general basics of here. I've probably like repeated myself way too many times. I'm going to pause this real quick. We're going to come back when I have a little bit more resources. We're back and some time has gone by. We've done a bunch of progress. I've been working on the lumber, jelly beans, and sugar. And here our lumber is almost at 2,000. So eventually I'm going to be setting some wood that takes a lot longer. We're still going to be accumulating wood, just not as quickly. So we've got a pretty good reserve. I'm ready, I'm confident, and I cannot wait to keep this going. Here are the jelly beans. I'm probably going to keep uh, producing some jelly beans just for a little bit. I've got a little time today, so I'm going to make sure I've got that in production right there. Along with the sugar, I'm going to keep producing these. I want to get like at least 400, maybe 500 in each of those. I know it's a lot. I don't even know if I'm going to have enough space, but that would feel really comforting to know I've got that stacked up. Our resources are ready to go, and we could do some gaming. Oh, ooh, ooh, yeah. Oh, and here in the smithy. We almost have a pile of 30 of the tempered pick axes. I still have one extra robust axe, no worries. And here, we're about to have another pile of 30. Then we're going to be working on the candy saws. And then we're going to be working on the shovels. So check it out. It's official 30 pick axes there. We have five of the saws in the queue. And then we're going to be working on our shovels to get a stack of 30 there. And then I'm going to work on the enchanted stakes and then the enchanted tongs. Beautiful. Here, that one's still stuck there. We managed to get 30 of the jelly bean jams. And now I'm working on the sweet jelly jams. That's taking up some jelly beans, so I'm having trouble keeping that stacked. Here, we've got our pine cones going. I want to get at least, you know, 30 or maybe 60 of those. We'll see. And then here... We have that going on. That's going really good. And we're going to keep those hearty rise coming. Uh, we have five of those in queue. So after, we're going to be going to the tart uh, tart jam pie there. So we've got some really good production. I'm feeling great about everything. Trying to get those stacks of 30. Things are looking fabulous. Everything is hardcore in production, just like we want to see. And here, we've got to make ourselves, yeah, nice little spooky muffin there looking fantastic. Hey, I'm really stoked. We've made some amazing progress. I really hope you enjoyed this video and I hope that it's helped to, uh, you know, either entertain you or keep you uh, company while you're doing your production. Here, things are going fabulous. And since we're so near the end, I think I'm just going to do these stacks here, get this going. Uh, here, I want to get six out of eight. And then the last two, I want it to be the wood piles right there. So that's going to keep us going nice and steady. Same thing with the jelly beans. We're going to keep those going, except I'm not going to put any uh, higher level. I'm going to keep with the short ones that take like a minute or so. So still working on my sugar, still working on my jelly beans. And uh, yeah, we're going to keep on working and having a great time here. I'm sending tons of positive energies out there to everybody. Hope you're having fun because that is what it's all about. Keep it going one little thing at a time and keep on having fun. If ever you haven't already, make sure to subscribe, hit that bell, and then hit that thumbs up button for the like if you enjoyed this video. I hope everybody has a beautiful day. Happy gaming, and I hope to see you soon. Stay tuned for more content, and if ever you want to see another video, make sure to click in the top left corner. Happy gaming. Take care. Peace.